Instant Family. Stars Rose Brine and Mark Wahlberg as these two, uh, this husband and wife couple who are thinking about adopting kids because Rose Brine can't have kids, sadly. Um, sh they talk about it and they actually uh, decide to become uh, foster parents and maybe adopt if it works out. So there's the plot of the film. Now this film is very, very good. I really like this film. One thing I will say is that um, if you are a foster parent, if you are a foster kid, I would highly recommend you watch this movie because this will hit you harder than, than anybody. This will connect with you, you will connect with this. Um, now, as for the rest of the cast, well, I am going to pull up the actress's name to try and not get it wrong, but I believe it is Isabella Moner. Isabella Moner, I believe, is the name of Lizzie. Yes, Isabella Moner plays Lizzie. She is going to be the new Dora in the Dora the Explorer movie. She was really damn good in here. She was damn good. She gave a uh, realistic foster kid performance as opposed to um, Dora in the Dora trailer, which looks like absolute shit. It looks like garbage, uh, to put it plainly. Which is, by the way, in a uh, Paramount film also. So I guess she might have uh, a contract, a special numbered film deal with, yeah, a special numbered film deal with Paramount. But Isabel Moner did a great job in here from what I could tell. Um, this may have been her first performance, if I am not mistaken. I will check up on that while I review the rest of the film. This film had some very heartfelt moments. This film is just a very charming PG-13 family film uh, that if it if your kids are used to hearing words like shit and damn, hell, bitch, there's one F word in it. There is one F bomb. Just one. Okay, uh, she she's done some other stuff. Uh, Isabel Moner, funny enough, was the Voight, Voight, was the voice of someone named Kate in Dora and Friends. I don't know. Uh, she was in a Nickelodeon show. She was in, um, Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life, which I did not like. The Transformers, The Last Night... The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature, and Sicario, Day of the Zeldado. Soon, she does have Dora the Explorer coming out. And you can definitely tell that um, she was just picked for that role and cast in that role because she can actually speak Spanish. She spoke Spanish in here. The other two kids were great. Um, they, they weren't given too much to do in here. It mo it mainly it mainly focused on uh, Lizzie, which I liked because that's the kid that is going to need the most time to get used to everything and and all that. The two younger kids gravitate towards their genders. Um, the boy really goes towards Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Mark Wahlberg gets very close to him, gets very close to the young girl, but the young close gets very close to, uh, to Rose Brine. And Rose Brine is becoming quite the actress. She's becoming a, uh, name in Hollywood like a Mark Wahlberg. They played a very believable couple in here, a very believable married couple. All I can say is, if you're looking forward to this film, do not look for an amazing film. This is not an amazing film. There, 
is a downside, and I think the downside is, is it's a bit too long. Without the end credits, it's an hour and 53 minutes, which is normally a great, a great runtime for a film like this, a family comedy. Normally it goes for about 90 minutes, but I, I think with the story this one was telling, it should have been this long, but I think that um, one of the main problems with this film is the pacing of it. Actually getting to to where uh, Lizzie starts trusting them, and this is a bit of a, ma a more mature family film. There's like dick pics. Lizzie is sending nudes to this guy at school who's a 22-year-old janitor. Now, I would not recommend you watch this film if you are 13 or younger, hence the PG-13 rating. Uh, but if you're a parent and your kid is used to seeing stuff like that, say they watch MTV, say they listen to rap music, then go ahead and give this movie a chance for them. I loved Instant Family, and I'm going to give it a B.